Hi YouTubers, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a quick video. And, oh, I'm sitting on something. <laughs> my headphones. This next video that I'm going to be doing or that I'm working, I'm actually working on a couple of videos that are pretty um, researched. And they're researched from a very unique perspective. Um, now this one video that I'm going to be putting out is going to be about the American Royal Baby. And what I want to talk to you about today very briefly is I want you to, to, to start thinking about some things that we are starting to see with this couple now living over in the United States. And it was never so prevalent to me than when I had to sit down and force myself essentially to watch this show on Hulu called The American Royal Baby. Now, someone has sent me an email and I appreciate you sending that to me. And I had other people mention it to me. I even had a certain family member mention it to me like, what, what's going on with this American Royal Baby? I was like, uh-uh, I am not watching that because that is going to be a puke fest for me. Like the anger and the spin that went into that show, I could see it from the trailer. So I didn't want to have to put myself through something so, so grueling and so so, ooh, just like get my blood pressure up. So I didn't watch it, but then I thought there's a bigger picture here. There's something happening that needs to be talked about. And it really is the way this couple has essentially come over to the United States and they are spinning things in a way that they are going to hook, line and sinker. A lot of the people who are Americans because Americans really don't care much about royalty. Like this is something that we don't really have here. The only time we really ever had anything that was geared towards American royalty was Camelot when we had uh, Kennedy and his wife, uh, um, Jackie Kennedy, like they were considered American royalty and they were pretty much loved across the board. They really were. But there is some divide with this current couple because they don't get it. Don't get me wrong. They they are coming over here trying to be the American version of royalty. And we all saw that coming. But when I sat down and watched this show and I haven't finished it because I can only take it in little small doses because it's just like I can't commit myself to something that just ugh, just makes me so mad for too long because that's just not good for my health. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So watching that show, I'm like, wow, they are really working people that like they are seriously got the PR team and they've got these shows that are like making it the American Royal baby, the Americans are excited. The Brits are excited. What would the baby's name be? Where's, when's the first picture, like the hype and the fluff around the American programming to bring people in to the ideals of this couple is very well executed, extremely well executed to the fact I was like, Oh, wasn't that nice? We're like, what? Hold up. No, -uh. we can't. Don't, don't you fall for it. Don't you fall for the okie doke. <laughs> nah, nah, baby. Nah, 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 baby. Nah, we ain't falling for it because you see it and you start to feel like, oh, isn't that just so nice? Isn't that just so nice? Look at that. Isn't that just so nice? That little American girl and her British husband. <sighs> you watch it and you just think, but wait a minute, what about this? And what about that? Uh, uh, no, you, I know you're going to talk about this and they don't talk about it, but they bring just enough in that they do talk about it to make you feel like they've addressed it. Like the things with the relationship with Megan and her father, they bring just enough in, but they don't really go deep enough to get the real gist of the story. So most people see that it was addressed and believe, oh, well, that's that situation. This is why she doesn't have a, a, re a relationship with her father. And then they just keep it moving and they want to the next thing. But what we're doing here, we are really looking a lot deeper, a lot closer into what is actually happening. The real story behind the relationship with the father, the intentions of Harry's wife, the, the political 
narrative that is going to try to be spun out of this. You can see how they're trying to, to show the royal family in a good light with just the queen, but the establishment is something bad for this company, uh, this, cu this couple, because they've essentially broken away from the British monarchy, but trying to make you feel like, but the queen is different. And we know that it's not. We know the queen is the establishment, like our education and what we know about British royalty is a lot more accurate than what the most Americans know about it. Now you have the Americans that are very well versed in this, people who do follow it like myself and other Americans who know what's going on. But I'm talking about that few demographic of Americans that just don't they don't want nothing to do with royalty. They'll just like see a, like a nice show about the Royals. Be like, oh, you know, okay, we're going to watch this show on Hulu and we're going to look at that American baby that just was born over here in America. You know, like we just going to look at it like that. And then they buy into the story and the narrative that they're selling. And it really is trying to show that Megan is somebody who we all need to be on her side. We need to rally behind her because she's been done wrong by those Royals. And I'm going to be completely honest and transparent with you all right here, right now today. Okay. I'm going to give it to you like it is. Well, my Diana was on this earth and I was following her like, royally just like when anything came out with Diana I was on it a documentary a book I'm getting it I'm watching it I'm reading it I'm gonna be all in all day I bought into it now I bought into the side that drew me more closer to my Diana and I did not like the royal family I was like they wrong they are doing my Diana wrong because see, I wasn't reading books like Lady C's book. I wasn't reading or watching documentaries that were trying to put Prince Charles in a better light. I was really all pro Diana because I wanted to be, she made me feel good. I was like, that's my girl, <laughs> Diana. Oh yeah. That's my girl, Diana. I like what she's about. She's a good person. Like who doesn't like her, the hype around her. I was all in. So you had a narrative behind the Royal family that was not very well liked and received. And this is why the queen, she had to reckon with the people telling her to come out and make a statement when Diana died, because she was, she was getting ready to be thrown off the, 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 the throne. Cause she was like, you better speak up queen. So she had to do what the people said because the draw and pull for Diana was so strong. So I can see that happening again with the young girls who might be in, oh, that maid, that's my girl, Megan. Look at those royal family. They did, they've been doing her wrong. But see, we have a difference. We, we, we really do have a difference now. And I also can say that, you know, looking at both sides now in my older years, I can see the good and the bad of, of Diana, but all in all, we know she really was a good person, even with the bad, but we have the other extreme now with Harry and his wife. We've got them pulling people in with their PR, the young girls and kids, the next generation of people who are going to be all for this Royal couple. And the dynamic here is different because we know that the underlining things about them as compared to Diana is not good. Like Diana, it was the bad. It, it really is the bad side because see, I can see that now I can differentiate between the, the underlining issues with Harry and his wife is not being mostly good. It really is mostly not good because of the sinister behavior behind how they treat their families and behind her wanting to be Hollywood, her wanting to be in the limelight and, and not showing the children and how Harry is being on the losing end. Like there's so many things that are on the losing end for Harry and the Royal family. And this woman is being elevated. That's just the same way Diana was elevated. But like I going back to like what I said, but underlining with Diana was all good. Mostly underlining with her is not all good. Mostly, but the spin and the fluff with the shows here in America 
is making it look like it's all that good stuff with her and shame on that royal family, like hate on that royal family. And you know how I know more even personally because of my friends, people that are my friends look at me and think, girl, what you doing? What you doing? That is a American woman that you are dissing. They're not looking at it deep. Like I said, we are not really into royalty over here. We're not really into it. So they're not really looking at the underlining issues of what is happening. It's very surfical. And that's the danger because no one really understands the majority of the not good of this couple right now in America. And they are falling for the okie doke. Not all Americans. I'm not talking to you Americans who, who really know what's going on because there is a difference. There's two extremes. It's, it's, it's kind of like the situation with Trump and I'm not going to talk politics, but there was a majority of people in, in America that was like, Trump, what? Psh, he ain't going to be president. They laugh. They laugh. But there was a, there was a pocket, a demographic of people that they were overlooking that were very pro Trump. And this is how Trump was able to win. Okay. So this is what we have with Megan now. And most people like the Americans that are like, listening, going, girl, you right. You right. They're like, listen to what I'm saying and totally agreeing. But there is this big pocket of Americans that are like, like my friends, like, uh, uh, no, you're not talking about her. She is the good person in all of this. The Royal family's the bad ones. <laughs> right. But what they are missing is, is that we are about learning here. Right. And what has happened between the time Diana was going through her good and then she had some more badness. Right. What we have now with Megan being the one that's supposed to be like the next Diana, they're saying here in the royal family, bad shame on you, is that the royal family has learned. They have learned and are no longer, maybe they never was, but you know, let me just say what I got to say. The Royal family are seeing that they've got to change and they're making this change and it's not being accounted for that they have changed in a lot of ways and are learning. Thus they've allowed this woman to marry into the Royal family. So they are taking, it's very clever, you guys. It's very clever how Harry and his wife essentially are taking the same script and they're running with it as if Diana is happening all over again. But underneath it, the face, the face of the good that Diana was, that they're trying to portray, is the sinister, the narcissist, the overtaking the bad, the, the, the overtaking of, of this, um, this facade that we are this great couple who have been wronged. They're trying to use that. But underneath, we know it's a lot of not so good. Listen to the interview that I had did with Rose and the interview that I had did with um, Jean. And the things that I've mentioned with Lady C, listen to that to really understand what is really happening, because you're not going to hear that in these fluff pieces. You're not going to hear that. So it's like they're almost like I said before, pulling the wool over our eyes and making you think you're being this is a Diana moment happening all over again. And this couple, this woman, this American black woman is being wrong now by yet again, this Royal family who I say is not the same Royal family in Diana's day. Now, some will argue to say, well, they've never been different. They're the same as they were in Diana's day that they are now. Well, I don't know about that. I still looking and researching and all that stuff because I, I just wasn't following the Royals as being the ones who were, you know, wronged. I think they were doing the wrong thing back in the day when I was younger, but I'm older now. I'm looking at things more objectively and that will probably change as I continue to read and learn more about the things that really happened with Diana. 
as I continue to read more of Lady C's books. So I'm talking about the moment that I'm in right now. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see it. That they are going after that demographic of people in America who are really seeing how wrong Megan is being has been done by this royal family. And this is what the PR is doing for her right now. Even though we know in the UK, there are a lot of people in the UK that have turned because they can see what has happened. The demographic of the American that I am talking about doesn't see that. They are seeing these uh, puff pieces. They're seeing the hype that is being generated by the public relations. And they really don't care about royalty. So they're going to fall for the okie doke because it's like, you know, like I said, they, you know, it's not just wonderful and not just great. <laughs> so it wasn't until I saw this show today, the American baby on Hulu that I still have to finish watching, but I, it really, really hit me. It hit me hard y'all today. I was like, Oh my goodness, this is what they're doing. But we're in a new age, y'all. We're in the age of social media and YouTube. I wouldn't have been able to talk like I'm talking to you now back in Diana's day. Although I probably would have been more like that royal family. Y'all wrong. Y'all wrong, royal family. <laughs> I would be like, my Diana, look at her. Look what she's doing today, y'all. Like, it would have been different, probably, more than likely, because I would have been younger. It would have been, like, different. But we didn't have the social media back then. We're in a different age. So this is why it's so important for people to get information that is coming from a different perspective on ch channels like YouTube and following things that are not on these 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 channels like ABC and Hulu and these entertainment tonight. like because they want the access. They are making money from these good stories. They are generating a really great revenue to be able to hype this couple up. And to, you know, all the things that this couple will do will become great news stories for them that the not so involved American is going to, to watch and to fall for and be caught up into this controversy of how wrong the royal family is. This is what is going to be happening. This is what is ap actually happening. So I just wanted to put this video out really quickly just to kind of talk about what I see going on with these American and I'm going to start following a lot more some of the American pieces just you know just to show you those who want to get the real information you want to see the American fluff piece or do you want to get a perspective that is showing you what is actually really happening with this couple and what the American media is going to say to you is happening with this couple because there is a difference there's a difference and I'm sorry my garbage man just showed up today right when I started filming and my windows open so I apologize for the noise so it's interesting. So I'm going to be doing a, a video that's going to be talking about what you're not getting from the American puff pieces. It's exactly what happened with Trump getting elected president when a lot of people didn't think he would be. His popularity has grown because they overlooked a demographic of people that were really, you know, wanting him to be president. And I'm not talking politics, yay or nay, for anybody. I'm just giving you the example because I remember this example very well. So I hope that uh, we'll see some mainstream media really give accurate reporting on what is actually happening. But I'm not sure that you will because I think it's a buy-in from a lot of the mainstream to really put this couple in the limelight that they're trying to get um, because they want this to be the new American royalty here. And that is the spin that they are putting out. And that's what they're making you feel all good about when you watch these puff pieces. So we're going to get on this. We're going to really dive deep into the differences of the, the media's buying into this couple and what 
Harry and his wife are really going after and what they're doing. Because we can say, yeah, they just trying to be royal in America. And I'm like, nah, -uh, they really, they really, really trying to be royal in America. And we ain't having it. We ain't having it. We're going to speak out about it. And we're going to talk about it. And we're not going to let them do any kind of sinister, like, bait and switch on us. Because we smart. And we got the real picture. And we going to be like, nah, nah, baby, nah.